Okay. We are now moving on to areas of similar triangles in this session on um, triangles. Okay, the, la the theorem, let me write it down first. It says the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the squares of the ratio of their proportional sides. This is a theorem that means oh, we will now uh, the we will be uh, taking uh, this uh, proof. To do so, we will be drawing two triangles, small ones. Oh. -oh. They look similar though. To do so, I name this as A, this being B, this as C. And this is P, Q, I. Okay. So, we are given these two triangles. It is also to, uh, said to us that these are two similar triangles. So, we know that A, B, C is similar to triangle P, Q, R. So, what we need to prove is it says area, the ratio of areas of the two similar triangles. So, area of A, B, C by area of P, Q, R is to be equal to squares of the ratio of their proportional sides. So, what are the proportional sides? It becomes A B by P Q squares. This can be refined by writing A B by P Q whole square. I better do that here. You can write it as the whole square. then it is B C by Q R square and then it is A C by P R whole square. Now to do, do so we need to have altitudes. So I am drawing altitudes from A to this B C and P to Q R. I need to name them. I name this as M and the other one being N. Hmm? Now, in the area, uh, in the triangle, sorry, A, B, C, how we find the area? Area of triangle A, B, C is half base into altitude. On the other hand, in P, Q, R, area of P Q R becomes half base into altitude. Right? So, we find the ratio by writing it as a form ratio form I write there make it by ratio. So, this half half would get cancelled. So, area of A B C by area of P Q R remains as B C into A M by Q R into P N. Now, look at the small triangles here A B M and P Q N. In those two as because they are already similar this A B C and P Q R are already similar. So, the angles will also be this be equal to this. So, I write in triangle A B M and P Q N both triangles angle B is equal to angle Q and the reason you write it is given already 
angle m is equal to angle n because I have drawn them to be the altitudes thereby making the small two triangles this is a b m becomes similar to p q n by e e criteria when that is proved we can write the proportionalities that is a m by p n is equal to a b by p q also as because the whole triangles like a b c and p q are where uh, given similar we can also derive a b by p q equals b c by q r this which we had used here equals a c by p r hmm. see we had written here because area of a b c by p q r right is equal to then because this was 1, suppose this is equation 1, this being equation 2 and this are a third information. Mm, so, what I can do is I write this area of ABC by PQR as PBC by QR. Okay, I can replace this BC by QR with AB by PQ. So, area of a b c area p q r is equal to now a b by p q e oh sorry into oh, into a m by p n i have only substituted this b c by q r as a b by i'm sorry p q hmm. now a b by p q was also given equal to a m by p n so i can again write a m by p n into a m by p n thereby making it or I need to write it as A B. I would better substitute A uh, A M by P N to be A B by P Q because I need A B by P Q whole square. So I can write A B by P Q equal into again A B by P Q, thereby making it A B square by P Q square or A B by P Q whole square. We, we had already written a b by p q equals b c by q r because b uh, equals a c by p r and we already got a b by p q whole square is equal to so rest of them will follow rest of them will be b c by q r whole square uh, equals a c by p r whole square that was our theorem to be proved so hereafter you can write from equation 3 you can derive the question hmm? and the proof given to let us now move on to take questions based on this. I move on to another screen for it. I will draw a figure first, then I inform about the question what given. Oh, okay. Mm. This is B, that is A, that is C, this is X, well, this is given as Y. In this figure, X, Y is parallel, oh, I did not write this because this is, yeah, X, Y is parallel to A, C of triangle ABC and this line XY is dividing the triangle into two parts of equal areas. Find the ratio AX by AB. 
Hmm? This is to be found, okay? And the information it's given is a uh, x y is dividing the triangle into two parts of equal areas of equal areas. Hmm? Now let's start with it's given x y parallel to a c. Hmm? I read that part also. X y is given parallel to a c, thereby making b x y equal to angle a. Maybe you can name this as 1, this is 2. 1 is equal to 2. Hmm. This one will also be equal to this red one. That's making 3 equals 4. So, when I take the triangles in triangle ABC and triangle XBY, I write angle 2 equals angle 1, angle 3 equals angle 4. So, by AA criteria, you prove the similarity of the given triangles that is ABC and XBY. Once it is proved from the theorem which we learnt now, we can write area of A, B, C by area of X, B, Y equals to A, B by X, B, Y, X, B, Y by X, B whole square. This is as per the theorem. It also has informed, I told you about how this x, y, this is suppose first one which we derived. It also it, um, informed about how x, y has divided this bigger triangle A, B, C into two equal areas. So, that means what it has said area of A, B, C by area of x, B, y equals to 2 is to 1 hmm. or area of ABC is equal to twice of XBY. Now, we are given this. Okay. Now, area of ABC by XBY is 2 by 1. Now, I substitute 2 by 1 is equal to AB by XB whole square. So, I write 2 by 1 is equal to, I write A, B by X, B whole square. Now, if I remove, no, I need to remove the square, I will square rooting both the sides, I will get, I will get A, B, I write it here, by X, B equals root 2 by 1 or simply root 2. I have to find A x by x A o. Oh, we have to find A x by x b. Hmm. If I subtract 1 from it, I need x b. No, that is not going to work. Okay, so let me reciprocate it. If I reciprocate, I get x b by a b equals 1 upon root 2. Now, both sides let us subtract from 1. So, we will get x b by a b minus 1 upon root 2. So, it makes it a b minus x b. So, it is a b minus x b actually gives us, I write it or we, we can just derive a b minus x b if you subtract it will give us a x by a b becomes now root 2 minus 1 by, uh, sorry wait, it is root 2 minus 1 by root 2. If I need to rationalize it, it will be 2 minus root 2 because yes, it will be root, this can be written as 2 minus root 2 by root. Okay.
if I am multiplying the numerator and denominator both by uh, sorry root 2 then this root will be removed. So, I am getting root 2 root 2 as 2 in the denominator and multiplying the numerator with the root 2 will remove this root 2 as 2 and 1 into root 2 will make it root 2. So, our a x by a b becomes 2 minus root 2 by 2. Thank you.